Good morning from the National Weather Service office in Gaylord. This is your latest hazardous weather briefing for northern lower and eastern upper Michigan. Today is Tuesday, September 9th, 2014. Well, this beach scene that we see in the picture here on the first slide is uh, uh, going to become a thing of the past by the end of this week as we have a strong storm system that's going to move through the area mid this week and uh, really transition things to a more of a fall-like pattern by the end of the week. Uh, first things first, though, taking a look at the hazards expected um, as that storm system comes through. Um, a couple different things to, to, to pay attention to. One is the potential for some severe weather. Severe thunderstorms are possible throughout northern, especially northern lower Michigan on the afternoon hours on Wednesday. Uh, the primary threat with any storms would be damaging winds. Um, there's still some uncertainty with exactly the track and strength of the storm as it comes through, which is which is really going to determine how uh, big our severe thunderstorm threat is, so certainly stay tuned for that. Uh, there, uh, much more likely is that we will see a p period of moderate to potentially heavy rain. Um, there could be localized spots of one to two inches of rain, um, so uh, be prepared again for uh, ponding water on roadways um, and some rises to area rivers, although no significant flooding is expected with this rainfall. Over the marine waters, um, as this storm system begins to depart Wednesday night into Thursday, there's the potential for uh, gale force winds um, to develop over much of the uh, near shore and open waters of Lake Michigan and Huron, um, and that will continue into Thursday before winds begin to die down Thursday night. So we see kind of the outlined area for where uh, the best chance for severe thunderstorms is on Wednesday in the graphic here on the left. Um, and you can see that is basically over uh, uh, the lower peninsula of Michigan um, with uh, thunderstorms really possible anywhere, but the severe weather, again, most likely further south. So remember that chance for heavy rain on Wednesday as rain develops um, after a quiet day today. Uh, that severe weather threat Wednesday with the primary threat being damaging winds. Um, and then the, we transition to much cooler temperatures and breezy conditions by Wednesday night and Thursday um, with really... Uh, showery and cool conditions expected to continue um, into the beginning of the coming weekend. So uh, transition to much cooler, more fall-like weather, um, and uh, stay tuned even by next this coming weekend. It isn't out of the question we may see an overnight frost may uh, come by Saturday night. This concludes the hazardous weather briefing for this morning. Thanks for listening in. The next scheduled update is expected around 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.